AAA release because, as you may or may not remember from the lecture, is that there are eight diaphragms in the human body. Three of them are up in this area, occipital, uh, atlantal, and tentorium in the, uh, uh, the cerebri, tentorium cerebelli and tentorium cerebri, dividing uh, the brain tissue. Uh, and that's more of a cranial, cranial area here. And then we did the thoracic inlet. We have the pectoral traction. We have the uh, diaphragm, the thoracodonal diaphragm, the pelvic diaphragm, the popliteal diaphragm, and then in the pedal pump, the plantar fascia. Those are among the eight different diaphragms. And the whole idea is to open these up in a fashion, uh, peripherally and centrally. Okay, so right now we're gonna do OA release. And if you remember anything, OA release, I got my fingers between the occiput and the atlantal region, and you just let the head, like a bowling ball, fit right into your hand, and you're cupping your hand, and let the, let the patient get the deep breaths in, and let her head just fall right into your, just let your head just fall right into my hand, like a bowling ball, release. And the idea is to position your fingers at the junction of the OA region, the occipital antral region, which approximates the vagus nerve, which we all know is a parasympathetic part of the autonomic nervous system. And the idea is to try and inhibit that and reset the autonomic nervous system in this area. Now, while I'm here, after the OA release, I'm going to gently change, and I can do a series of gentle cranial osteopathic manipulative medicine, or, or OCMM, osteopathic cranial manipulative medicine techniques. Notably, I showed you the nasal lift up here before. <clears throat> but we can also do some gentle lifts, the parietal lift, where you gently, using the, um, using the cranial vault hold, the most important of which the index fingers approximate the ends of the greater wing of the sphenoid here, another finger anterior to the tragus or the ear, and the one behind that, and then the other one close to the occiput. And the other fingers here, off the head, your thumbs crossing each other, and putting very gentle, not even a half a pound of pressure, not even a quarter pound of pressure on the head, the skull, I'm gonna basically act as though I'm going to lift, and I'm gonna exaggerate my fingers here, lifting the parietal uh, bones away from their connections, the temporal and occipital region, but you're not really doing that. Um, and so it's gonna look like this, but you're doing it very gently. What you're doing is trying to open up, this, you know, trying to, to engage. We don't like to say open up, and engage the sutures to free up tissue and neurovascular restrictions. Consequently, we can also do something called a frontal lift that looks like this. Looks like I'm, I'm forming, um, looks like a, a tent or a teepee, and my, my fingers are coming together like this, and I'm raising gently, very little pressure over the ox over the frontal bones that are, and I'm lifting up this way. This is the nasal lift that we showed you before. This is the frontal lift. And we can also do the OM suture release, which is, stands for O, it stands for occipital, M is mastoid, and my fingers are gonna be in like a V, and I'm gonna be approximating where the glossopharyngeal nerve comes out down here, and I'm gonna be pulling just gently laterally So it looks like I'm doing this, but very gently for some oral pharyngeal restrictions. That should take literally a few minutes. It's very soothing. You notice everything is gentle and still above the neck. 